a sparkle in your eye, forever young. Every moment this is life, take it as it comes. Jump up and reach for the stars, having no regrets, forever and ever, always young, forever young. Chin chin. Chin chin. Slow and check. Why white? Um, because I, I like the white. We'll talk more about that in a little while. This is the um, Noguera white mm. from Ovidosh. Now I'd love to talk to you about the local specialities here. Okay. But before we get there, we are the, the Englishman, the Irishman and the Portuguese and the man. Portuguese. Walking into a bar. Nice it, ha bar. it happens to be your bar. Yes. So could you tell us about that? Mm -hmm. We're in the basement of the Storyteller's yes. Palace, aren't yeah. we? It's a halfway basement because we, we, are, we can see the sidewalk from yes. here. Yes. Yeah, this was a garage uh, before. Yeah. The, the previous owner had a guest house here, mm -hmm. but he didn't use this area. Okay. So uh, when we bought the building and we did the hotel, we decided that this area could be a sort of speakeasy um, bar. So we did Gatsby because it's, it, it's a guy that uh, is inspired in the 20s, yeah. so we wanted to do the same thing. That's why the design and the pictures, uh, and we want to make the link with the 20s because after the pandemic we had the crazy 20s again. Yeah. We hope so because everything it seems quite crazy yeah. at the moment. Absolutely, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, the great Gatsby, Fitzgerald, I believe Fitzgerald is one of yeah. the the names the of one of the sweets. I'm yes. saying it. Yes. You are actually as it turns out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. Can you can you tell us about that? Yeah. About why it is that each of the sweets here has the name of a of a great author. Yeah. So the name of the, the, the hotel is Storytellers okay. because I'm a film director. I tell stories. So when uh, uh, I opened my first one in Sintra, we decided to put the name Storytellers to get people. First, because the majority of people, when they book it, they say, oh, I book it because I love the name. I want to know yeah. why storytellers. And then because when we receive the people and we walk, our claim is welcome home, is to tell stories about ourselves and about the, 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 the place that they are going to visit. How about that? You two cook together? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could just drink wine and watch. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm more like keep flying. Yeah, yeah. 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 The uh, story of the uh, Storyteller's Palace, this is one of the notable architects of Portugal. Is that right, Marco? Sorry? The, yeah. the, the architect designer of this building is one of the notable architects of, yes. across Portugal. No, he was Swiss, from Switzerland. But he had so many yes, projects yes. in, in and he lived in, he lived in Leiria and he did lots of... The Leiria Castle? Yes. The first, the first hotel in, in Villa Real de Santo Antonio? Yes. Yeah. yeah, amazing. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to my kitchen. Okay, welcome okay, to my kitchen. Okay, so as a surprise, I'm gonna do how the Portuguese do the octopus. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So, so I, I gonna teach the people how to do a very, um, how to say, uh, tenro, uh, uh, without being hard, soft. Oh, a soft. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So this is an octopus. Nice right? soft tent. Okay, and this from here. It's from San Martinho. Okay, we have um, our uh, waiter. 
this chasm gets uh, octopus before the summer because you know that during the summer they get algae here so they stop fishing right. to get the algae from the bottom this, of the sea this is yeah. a very important place for algae yeah, yeah. it's a unique algae in so yeah. much in the border. yeah so this is uh, was a catch in uh, june so we frozen yeah. now i'm frozen okay and now everybody usually are afraid of cooking it because it gets hard so i'm going to teach you how to do it soft i wanted to ask you a question because like i i cook octopus as well but there's an old portuguese tale about octopus and when you're boiling it you have to use the cork of a uh, the wine cork yeah uh, you heard this one or no 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 no, no so i've heard the stitching, uh, an no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that the, the, when they were boiling the because you froze it first yeah to break down the fibers and then you were boiling but you had to put cork of the wine bottle okay into the into the water, water when you were dropping it in probably it's a bit, it was so hard we don't he's, he's getting involved yeah. the secret is you don't open the onion you just slice it like this okay okay that's why you, Bobby. yeah you don't now you put it here the whole now, onion is going the whole, in the water yes it's like something for the octopus to play with yeah <laughs> okay now the carrot and put the octopus inside. Yeah. Here he is? Yeah. He's going for his last swing. Yes. Yeah. With? You have to no. keep beaking him already as well. You Sorry? Out his beak. The beak, the, yeah, the well, mouth. We're, we're, no, 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 I take you it off. You beak in. Yeah, I take it off. So now, the uh, secret is the onion and the carrot gonna give a bit of flavor, but that makes it soft. You're going to cook for one hour and 20 yeah. minutes, more or less. Okay. okay, so it's cold. It's now on the minimum. Yeah. It, it, it it's slowly, brings yeah, slowly. Yeah, slowly. Yes. And no. then with this water, right. we do the risotto. Oh, That's okay. why the risotto is so good. Excellent. Excellent. So the water of the, 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 the that remains here, we, we prepare it for risotto. Yes. So now, while this is happening, we're going to do another a meat dish is a meat dish black then. black pig yeah. with the blackberries oh okay oh. so okay yeah so black pork another thing that i learned like it's just uh, uh i'm going to tell you just a, a bit then you're going to explain you is the temp the right temperature of the wine i found out everything that everybody tells you is a meat really Zombie. yes he Four, us now, or 14 degrees, he's got his yeah. heavier red, yeah? Yeah, 14 degrees, yes. <laughs> the white one is 14 degrees. The red one is between 16 and 18. Okay. Not less, because not more, because otherwise it ruins uh, the balance of the wine. Yeah. I thought... Did you know that? I'm a professional. The 14 <laughs> degrees I didn't know because usually... This one's already put gone. Put it down. Keep throwing away. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be in the gravy now. Let me... Oh my God. <laughs> red wine. I'm going to make red wine reduction with this now. Watch it reduce. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. a red wine reduction Let's... O'Reilly style. Yeah. Right, okay. Getting hungry. I'm getting hungry too. This looks amazing. Oh, and now... Oh, and the octopus is... Yeah. yeah, that's all happening over there as well. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't, we don't get up here. Now we're going to have to cut away. I'll be back this, in an um, hour. See, this is the Alan, Alan, Alan Tejo vibe, isn't it? Oh, no. it you, you, don't, you won't be rushed, will you? The pork, it's in south. Yes. I was brought up in a house without electricity. It's unbelievable. To, uh, really? Yes, it was, was a, a plane well, with 242 acres. Yeah. Okay. And my uh, grandparents had cows and pigs and uh, lambs and all, all, all kind of animals. And they did that without electricity? Yes, and when they uh, killed a, a, a pork, they uh, would do um, butter from the, the fat, yeah. where you put some part of the meat. Yeah. And the other part was in um, big uh, wood cases yeah. with salt, this yeah, kind of salt. To cure and yeah, to yeah. cure it, uh, and you had pork for all year. Yeah. Really? So I was brought up like that. Wow. Only when I came to Lisbon, I saw a television and the electricity. Uh, my um, lamps were with petroleum, you know. Yeah. And when I was six, they started with one that was with petroleum, but the they, had, they had the a white wind. thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. What, when was that? Was uh, I was I born in '69, so '69. Yeah, from '69 to '74, uh, early '70s. Yeah.
that kind of gives you great absolutely yeah. it's amazing yeah. when, when that's a real idea at, you like a separate i remember the radio of my, my grandparents at um Berlin station, Paris station. Yes, yes. you remember? Yeah, so, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I used to listen to radio uh, at night we, yeah. instead of having television. My, my grandmother used to tell stories. Yeah. And the other ones was to the radio. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's yeah. all about the stories yeah. from your childhood, yeah. hearing it on the radio. We had a very similar upbringing as well. We had. Um, yeah, I know the Irish. Kind of, the, the Irish are similar yeah. to Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we, we were singers and storytellers as well. Yeah. So. But you sing. But the Lentejo, they sing too. You yeah. know, the Lentejo, they have that song that they they get together yeah. and they sing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We have to. Have <laughs> eleven. We have eleven. Kitchen. Yeah. We're the kitchen. No, but yeah. we had like you have this thing. We call it Shanaki. Yeah. And a shenaki is an old way. It could be dance, it could be a song, it can be a poem, it can be a story, yeah. some of the Hindi father's time, etc. This kind of thing, yeah. you know. And it was all stories that were handed down, handed down, handed down, handed down. Mm -hmm. And even today, it sort of it becomes like a festival now in Ireland, where yeah. you're doing a shenaki festival, and uh, you'll have it in some castle somewhere. Where uh, we were very lucky when I grew up, we had a teacher, one of our teachers that we had for two years. He was he was an old storyteller. And as well as you happen to do your normal, say, maths and English and so on, every day he told us a story from the legends of Fun McCool That's and the Kieran and Og. Oh, he's absolutely yeah. amazing. But it's but a mark story telling. The story of his childhood with no electricity. Yeah, yeah. And the grandparents rearing the animals and making, you know, preserving pork. That yeah. could be a song, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. In our age, it's a Facebook post. Yeah. But in your, yeah, it's your grandparents' time, it's a, it's a, it's a story, a song. Yeah. Yeah, that usually when you kill the pork was a way of gathering the neighbors because yeah, yeah. yeah it was too far away so people would help do like 10 kilometers walking yeah. just well killing really? the yeah usually before the uh, in the beginning of autumn they used to kill the pork or in the beginning of january yeah. so it was so everybody helped and everybody get a piece to take home because the richest families had more porks than the other ones yeah, yeah. so they, it was a way of getting some meat but yeah, yeah. Right to where you are now. I now think. I gonna do one thing. Yeah. It's good. A bit of sugar. Put it back in. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a good thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna drink that. Yeah. And the cameras are not there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we put back. Yeah. I, I, I can think ahead. I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Good color. Oh, was a beautiful. I think that's a really beautiful mark. It's a purple pink mark. Very tender, first of all. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking a bit of this. This is sweet potato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Don't like a guy now from wine, somebody feet Phil. The wine that they are having, like, no. the that they are having probably. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, no, no gera, no gera. Mm. Oh. Very good. What I need. Did you have some blackberry? No, I'm gonna Hello. have some now with this one. Mm. Mm. See? The color beautiful with the um yeah. The color is more or less like this. See, it's not completely, completely dry. No, no, it's lovely. Yeah, see, that's a good really, but, it's, but it's, it's, it's perfectly clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what's really nice? On its own. <laughs> you like that? So you can actually just taste the pork itself. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than having all the other compliments yeah. with it. Yeah. So I think we should uh, take this through to the Gatsby bar and see what people think. Oh, we're going to need a uh, knife and fork. <laughs> oh, you've got a knife and fork. We've got cutlery coming, haven't we? But... Okay, this is what's been prepared upstairs. I have, it's been tasted already uh, by, by some others. So the beauty of the plate isn't as it was, but it, you can still see it's looking pretty beautiful. Please try some. There we go. Yes, come on. Try some of that. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, that's quite Look at that berry. Mm. That's good. It is amazing. Really good. And I need a uh, coriander. 
Okay, so we put a bit of salt. Yeah. Oh, this time yeah. salt at the beginning. Just, just, just the end, not on the octopus. Okay. Because octopus is already. They're going to sweat the other Yes. Yes. Okay. They make them run. Yeah. Where were you on the night of the 27th of February? Talk. That's how you make the onion sweat, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk. Okay. We're <laughs> trying to eat up. <laughs> good, good chef badge. Dorben. Dorben. If you, t if you don't tell me, he's going to come back in here. <laughs> And no one else is getting this. <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> All right, I'll, I'll make a note and you say another yeah. thing. We're right. going to have to put subtitles on this, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, ancient reference to dad joke. <laughs> See sleeve notes. Prepare the, the potatoes. We are going to do the potatoes with skin. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The what? secret of the meat in the source is because the cows are, the, the grass are so near the sea. That gets oh, the salt. Yeah, okay. so it's the, yeah. Salted cow. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Salted cow. Yeah. You know, same with, with with the butter, or as Bobby says, it. Bor. Bor. But the the best butter, Portuguese butter, comes from the Azores, right? I think. Yeah, I, I think so. And yeah. Actually, I think the best butter in in Portugal comes from Ireland. Kerry gold. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yes, it really is. Yes, right. actually, it's all over the world. You can go any country in the world. I've been in Riyadh, in Saudi Arabia, I've been in the States, I've been in Southeast Asia, and you will find Irish Kerry gold butter absolutely everywhere. Wow. And it's amazing. And like it's a huge it's one of the best sellers in, in each country as well. And not just the marketing triumph. It's no, it's just good. the quality. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Marmite. You can buy it here, but it's it's like far times more expensive than if you buy it in Ireland. Yeah. yeah. But the one thing I think Portugal has over Ireland, and this is very rare, because most of our fish, because we catch a lot of fish, goes to Spain, believe it or not. We're not, a, we're not a fish eating country. We're a yeah. meat eating country. Yeah. Uh, it's probably changing a little bit now, but most of the fish goes to actual Madrid. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, into Madrid markets. But here, I think people turn to fish more than meat burst. Yeah. yeah. And and octopus, and except as well, so. and cataplanas, yes. and uh, tambrilla, roasted tambril, yeah. all these fantastic dishes that you have here. Your bacalhau, I still don't get it. I really don't. Me too. Me too. I don't Seriously, get it. Seriously, hold on, hold I on. I, I agree with you. Man this confesses. Is this is a, yeah, we've got him here. Yes, I know. Okay, he's I a never, heretic. I never, I never understood the craziness about the bacalhau. Never. I really? But okay. we have such a good. Why do you need the Norwegian? Yeah, well, and, that's and the weird and, thing. And, and dry, but why? Why don't you have it fresh? Like we have fresh. Yeah, you know, I love fish and chips fish and in the Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You have fresh, fresh cod. Yeah. yeah. And just difference. in case there are Portuguese people who are wondering where I stand on this, I, I love bacalhau. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll, you'll eat it. <laughs> Bobby doesn't. No. Oh, actually, he's ordered Marco. If possible, we know what, but Marco, you know this, the reason why people love the bacalhau is it reminds them of their childhood and their grandma, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah because what's the cheapest fish, like the pork that you put on a oh, yeah? case with salt is the same. You know, because the dry bacalao is, it has a lot of pork. You have to put it in water for 48 hours. Now you don't need because they have it already. But in the old times, yeah, yeah, you had to buy the, the big ones. Yes, yeah, so on on the, never on, on the store, on a lot of shops, they have it. Uh, I can't angst, it's, yeah, I think it's salt. timber. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a little bit of wood. And, you and then the you put it in water and change the water like every four hours, for uh, two days. Yeah. I'm just doing that. I'm yeah. just leaving it for 48 yeah. hours. That's why, yeah. No, but now you, you can buy it without... It's rehydrated. Yeah. But that but water but it's not fresh. fresh. No, 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 no. But in the, the times that Portugal was a, a more poor country, a yeah. poor country, um, was the cheapest, was tuna and uh, sardine, sardine with tomato in can. Oh, yeah. And bacalao was the cheapest. And it's still food. very popular because it's in the, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, in the yeah. love of yeah. the past. Yeah, yeah. Now, the most obvious thing here is we're looking at a tender mm. octopus, aren't we? It can be very tough, like you said before. Yeah. And that you've cracked the secret of cooking a tender yeah. whole bowl octopus. Without the cork. Without the cork. Without the cork. So, like, I didn't know this could be done without the cork. <laughs> Have you actually been doing that at home? I've been sticking corks in just in case. Right. 
There is red wine here. Yeah? Okay, that's enough. Absolutely stunning. Mm. Just really, really amazing. And that puree is amazing. Mm -hmm. Please, thank you very much. That's what you want to know, isn't it? Is whether yeah. the, 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 uh, it's tender. Yeah. But you know what was nice as well? The very end of the tentacle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which was obviously a little bit extra here, yeah? Yeah. He's nice and crispy.